this video, we're going to actually do the operation twice. I want to show you a couple different ways that the contour tool can work. So let's hop into our cam tab, tool isometric, setup, change our origin, select OK. After you've done it a couple times, that'll just start coming fairly easy. I'm going to come into this 2D contours as we did before, and I'm going to select the contour that we want to do. What I want you to really realize is I could do some roughing operations to clear all this off. The tool paths that I want to try to create right now are some concentric rings that will actually take this off. And if I only do it right now once with my half inch end mill, I'm going to come in here and select my tool, half inch flat end mill, and select OK. For the most part, it's only going to reach out to this first ring. So what I want to try to do is I want to try to work my way into the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come to my Passes tab, and this time I am going to do Stock to Leave. So if I come into the Stock to Leave, you have two of them. You have Radial Stock to Leave, and you have Axial Stock to Leave. Radial is your stock along the walls, and Axial is your stock that's on the floor. So I will go ahead and put a 50% step over, Again, I'm using a half inch tool, quarter of an inch is half of that, and I'm going to leave nothing on the floor. I am going to go ahead and do the multiple depths as we've been doing, and that's also going to be the 0.25, excuse me. And for the most part, everything else we're going to leave alone for this activity. I'll say OK, and you'll see right now that it'll put a ring out there, and that ring is now farther out than it was before. I now can go ahead and create a second one. Rather than create an entire second one and have to go through all the steps again, one really cool thing in HSM is I can right click one that's already here and I can duplicate it. So I can come over here to duplicate and it will make me a second one that's exactly the same. I can now come into it, go to my passes. I can then remove the stock to leave and select OK and it will go ahead and put on my second ring. And again, right now you can only see one of them because I only have one of them selected. There's the second one and then my stock. So right now what it's going to do from the outside in, it's gonna make one contour and then the second contour. So this is one operation that we can do and we'll hit play to see the operations themselves. Go ahead and speed up the animation. and I must have only had one of them selected. I do, so come back up to my setup because that's what I don't want it to look like. And we'll hit play and try it again. So now it should come outside the part, do it once and do it twice. Fine, that's one way to do it. We're gonna try to save ourselves a little bit of time. So I'm going to delete those two and we're gonna to try to do this all in one shot. I think this is a very cool thing that's in HSM because it's gonna give me the opportunity in this operation to do multiple passes. So just as I've done before, come in, select my tool. Then in this multiple depths, this top part is actually going to be fairly cool for us. We're going to tell it that we want it to have a finishing pass. We're also going to tell it how many of those roughing passes we're going to allow it to do. So I only wanted two passes. So if I pop open this roughing pass, it gives me the opportunity to say how much to step over and how many passes I want it to try to do. So it's actually going to create multiple rings for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 0.25 as my step over, and I really only want it to go out one time. So I'm going to do one roughing. I then need to teach it what it's going to do for the finishing pass. Right now, if I leave this as 0 0.05 or 50 thousandths, then it's going to step out a quarter of an inch from there. And what I want it to do is make two even rings as it goes in. So I'll change my step over, 0.25, and it will now create two rings for me. I'm still going to have to do the same multiple depths, but it is going to save me a little bit of time as far as editing because I don't have two separate operations. And now when I select OK, I should see both of those rings in one shot. Now I can go ahead and finish to the contours, 
the bottom one, and I'm back to the same activity that it was last time. Multiple depths, 0.25, okay. And hopefully I have two rings to make the top one and then this one. Now, what I want you to notice is how it has chosen our depths. I have already, in this first operation, this first contour, I've already taken this part. This is another way that I could have done it. I could have contoured all the way down to the bottom and then contoured the top. For this one, we're going to edit our heights. Instead of the top height being off of the stock, we'll do a selection and move that one down to this face. Hopefully what you can see is there's a lot of different ways to get the same results. Come up and select my setup so I can simulate all the process at one time. And there we go.